Welcome back, friends and colleagues. Today we're going to be talking about Gemi, which is a Game Boy game that I made for user gems. As you can see, it's a platforming game. It's got four levels, and at the end it has a boss fight. Each level you unlock a new skill, and it's like a story game in the way that uh, we follow um, the mascot of this company. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my process of how I made this a reality. From somebody from that company reaching out to me, to then me delivering this. So first you should know I have a YouTube channel, which is where I'm talking here. And that's how people tend to find me. I have an email address, people reach out to me, and then we, we have a bit of back and forth to see if uh, what I can do matches up with what they want. And then we have a meeting or, or a few meetings talking about, again, the delivery of it and also what the game would kind of be like and uh, the timeline, the budget exam, for example. And once we've worked all that out, we write up a contract basically saying what we've talked about. And alongside that uh, contract, I tend to give an invoice and I also outline a timeline. So what I've done in my last few contracts is I write something like this, where I think about the timeline that we have. So in this case, it was four weeks. And I think about everything we need in the game. So I make like a task list and then I break it up and uh, display it in a way that is for me mainly, right? But it helps them understand what's going on so that I know that each week I need to be doing certain tasks and that I don't fall behind on them. And uh, if they do take longer, then I've, I've factored that in, right? We have space to improve and iterate on the game. So in this case, I actually created a very rough version of the game from week one. So at uh, the end of week one, beginning of week two, in our scheduled weekly meetings, I presented the game and we, we could go over what it compared to what we wanted and any ideas we had while playing it, right? Because when we play games, we get, I get more ideas and the vision crystallizes, right? It's very hard to have a very perfect idea of the game when you haven't got anything to work off of. So that week one, we, we looked at it and we we came up with better ideas for it. So in this case, the game was originally just going to be themed to their company's customer onboarding process or like how the customer interacts with their product. It didn't really, what well, that wasn't really thought through very well. But after the first week and especially after the second week, that had fully crystallized and we had like a story for the game, right? Where your character is collecting things that the customer interacts with and they are explained to the player and they are actually helping you, the character in the game, get better. And so by linking the, the game mechanics with the story, I think it came out quite well. When it came to the end and we actually had the final game, we put it into people's hands and it was extremely difficult. Um, obviously as a developer, I can complete it quite easily because I've been playing it for hours and hours on end, testing and making the levels, for example, and and polishing the the movement mechanics. By letting other people play it and tell us it's really hard, I then went back to the level design and, and also adjusted some of the mechanics to make it easier. And we then tested it again, still too hard. So then I was able to make it even easier. Um, I also added mechanics that we hadn't thought about before to help players who may not have any inkling of, of, of playing games to just simply skip the level. And that means that they can still experience the story, they can still um, try the levels, but if it's too hard, they can skip it and still get all the way to the very end. Then in the very end, we have a score, right? Which we want the, the players to share on LinkedIn. And that was one of the main ideas that uh, was presented to me in the beginning and basically turn it into a community style game rather than just a story game that exists purely within its own world. So in the end, I think this was a good learning experience for everybody involved. I've done a few contracts like this before. They tend to be longer because game ideas tend to be more grandiose. Well, this one was very concise. We want four levels, or I said four levels. There needs to be a score. A score-based game can be very simple. And so if factoring that in that story that their customer goes on, I think really made this game special to user gems and, and uh, made Gem E this character have more meaning than it otherwise would have. So yeah, overall, I make videos, people see them, they reach out, we do some back and forth in emails, so we know it's right to jump on more of a longer call. And then on that call, we might discuss everything that we currently know. We've, we set up a timeline uh, and a budget. Then we come back together with 
an invoice and a, and a contract. And then I get to work in that time frame. We have weekly meetings that we discuss it and improve it as it goes along. Um, so that we're always on track, we're always up to date with each other. We're always in contact over email anyway. And then when it comes to final delivery, there will always, always be things that need ironing out. And so I, I'm always there to go back and forth in that process. So thank you to User Gems for hiring me to make this cool little game. And if you play it, give us your high score. And maybe I can help you make your game in the future. Uh, and if you want to make your own games, I've got tutorials on my channel that outline how to do stuff like you're seeing right here. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope this was informative. I hope this was interesting. And I'll see you in the next video. But before I go, I'll just thank my patrons. I'll put them on the screen right now. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are absolute best. The whole idea of the Patreon was to help myself keep afloat between contracts. Um, so I really appreciate you guys. You guys are absolute best. Obviously, I'm making you guys tutorials. So please uh, let me know what tutorials you'd like to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.